When learning to solve equations, there's basically one rule that you have to keep in mind when you're operating with, with two sides of an equation. If you do something to one side of the equation, you must do the same thing to the other side. Now, an example of this is a very simple equation like 2 plus 3 equals 5. You can represent it as a balance. It's like a teeter-totter. The, the 2 plus 3 balances the 5. Now you see, if I remove 3 from this side, I have to remove 3 from the other side. And it's still balanced. Here it's 5 equals 5. Here it's 2 equals 2. Here's another example. The 7 minus 3 balances the 4. If I remove this term from the left side, I have to add 3 to the other side because I'm increasing both sides by 3. Now that leads to a shortcut. And the shortcut basically is that if you have a term on one side of the equation, you can write it on the other side of the equation as long as you use the opposite sign. The plus 3 on this side is the subtract 3 on this side. The subtract 3 on the left becomes a plus 3 on the right. Now, when we're working with equations, the object is to figure out the value of the unknown. In this case, there's an x plus 5 equals 7. Now, it's pretty easy to figure out that x has to be 2. But we're trying to devise a method where the equation tells us the answer rather than having to guess it. And if we use the shortcut that we just talked about, I'll take the plus 5, remove it from the left side, write it as minus 5 on the right side. And then x equals 2. Another example, x minus 3 equals 6. If you think about it, x has to be 9. But if you want the equation to tell you the answer, leave the x there and the 6 over here. Remove the minus 3 on this side right, plus 3. And x is equal to 9. In this equation, we've got a few more terms. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to get the, the terms with the x on one side and the pure numbers on the other side. So I'm going to leave the 5x on the left. I'm going to leave the 12 on the right. Take the plus, this is a plus 4x, write it on the left side as minus 4x, and take the plus 2 and write it over here as minus 2. Now you can write minus 2 plus 12, or you can write 12 minus 2. It doesn't matter the order, as long as the plus 2 on this side becomes minus 2, and the plus x, the 4x, becomes the minus 4x. And when you subtract 4x from 5x, you get 1x. 2 from 12 is 10. If you want to check, it's very easy to check this. Just take the 10, put it back in here. 5 times 10 is 50, plus 2 is 52. If you put the 10 in here, you have 40 plus 12, which again is 52. Here's another example. I've got x's and pure numbers on both sides. I'm going to leave the 3x on this side and the plus 4 on the right side. I'm going to move the positive 2x, write it as negative 2x or subtract 2x, and bring the minus 5 over to the right side. Uh, I can write it here just as a 5 or I can put it on the other side of the 4. really doesn't matter. x equals 9. Now remember, I'm doing the same thing to both sides. It's just that the shortcut makes it look like you're not really doing that. But I have increased both sides by 5 and subtracted 2x from both sides. One last example. Once again, I'm going to keep the 7x here. And I'll keep the plus 10 over on that side. I'll move the 4x, write it as minus 4x on the left, take the minus 5, write it as plus 5 
on the right. 7x take away 4x leaves us with 3x. And on this side we have 15. Now this is the first example where I've been left with a number in front of the x. Now remember the very first rule was whatever you do to one side you must do to the other side. So I'm going to divide this side by 3 which means I divide the other side by 3 in order to remove the 3 from the x and x equals 5. That's the end of the first video. I'll follow this with a few more uh, slightly more complicated examples.